If you are a fast reader, you would be able to read all those 20 books within a year. If you're a slow reader, however, and you take the same amount of time, you would be able to only read four of them. As a dyslexic myself, in the past I have often felt overwhelmed by all the reading that I had to do. Luckily, nowadays, a lot of the reading material is online, and that means that we can use text-to-speech software to read basically as fast as we want. That means that you can save a large amount of time. I will show you how I use my MacBook as well as my iPhone to achieve this with free software. And towards the end of the video, I will even show you how you can turn printed material into a audio file as well. Let's start with how you can turn on text-to-speech on your MacBook. I go to System Preferences, then I go to Accessibilities, and then there is on the left a tab called Spoken Content. Here you can then choose the voices that you want, you can customize them, and they got really surprisingly good these days. So what I have also done, I have chosen one for Dutch, my native language, then English, German, and also one for Hebrew. Additionally, what I have done is I selected Speak Selection. This means that whatever is highlighted can be read to you. Then I went to Options, and then I put in a keyboard shortcut. To do that, you press this little box, and then you select the key that you would like to use for your text-to-speech. Now you can go to any website and your computer will read to you. Simply select the text and press the keyboard shortcut for text to speech. Listening is a better way to read. Maximize your time. Read through your content two dash three times faster than it takes to read it. This also works with PDFs and all kinds of different languages. It is also very helpful for writing. I find that I can hear my mistakes way easier than I can see them. Now we move on to how to do it on a phone. So we select settings. Then we go to accessibility. There we go to spoken content. And here you have to select speak selection. Then you can also decide which kind of voices you want to use and how fast you want the text to be read. And then you can go to basically any website. You select the text and then there will be a little pop-up that reads speak. And you press it. People with dyslexia typically have trouble reading fluently. They often read slowly and make mistakes that can impact how well they comprehend what they read. But when other people read to them, they often have no problem understanding the text. So now we get to the question, how do we do the same with printed material? For example, books. Let's have a look at it. For this, I would like to introduce you to an app called Speechify. You can download it from the App Store. And then it's quite simple. You enter the app. You press the plus button and then you go to scan pages. You go to quick scan. Then you make sure that everything that you want to be read is in frame and you make a picture. It might take a couple of seconds, but then the app will start reading the text to you. Good readers read many words per year. Poor readers read very few. Good readers spend more time reading each day so that they read many more words in a year compared to poor readers. For a long time, I didn't use text-to-speech because I still had this expectation towards myself that I should be able to do it like everybody else, despite my dyslexia. And then one day I tried it out and it has helped a lot. And I think it can do the same thing for you. So try it out. And if this video helped you, then give it a like and uh, share it with somebody. See you in the next one.